Great, huh? Thank you. Where's Belle? Um, Belle, dinner, sweetie. Who the hell are you? He's headed for the Miller property. He's got to be in the shed. No, he's in the house. Come on. Jacob Slade, we know you're in there, you piece of shit. Now come out here and face your justice. You hear me, Slade? Mob justice for the crime of murder times four. You have been sentenced to death by whatever means necessary. Otni ruas mrai timok im luas natus. Otni rua smra i timok im luas natus. Otni rua smra i timok im luas natus. important to be on time. Shut down the digital society and get ready. Well, as ready as you can be. Who's winning? I always win. 
Really? You must get that from Dad. Yeah, he taught me. I only play against myself these days. Get your stuff ready for school, bud. You don't want to be late. Don't forget your helmet. Come on, bud. Safety first. For me, I couldn't live with myself if something were to happen to you on my watch. Like my time at school isn't hard enough. Thanks, Dan. You look safe. Well, I don't feel safe. What's up, fellas? Hey. Oh, what do you mean to be safe, Inspector? That's your little plastic lid. Huh? Nicky, your clipboard. Huh? What, Big Brother will drive you to school? Got you peeling for a better life, huh? Yeah, well, he used to take me. I just finished a graveyard shift, interning at the hospital, and now I'm trying to pump out this last assignment before graduation. I know. I'll make it up to you. I uh, better get going before I'm late. You get your phone? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Dean. Better take off for you two later. <laughs> hey, good luck today. Thanks, bud. Oh, oh, jeez. Watch out, Junior. Here you go. Nice and easy. Oh. And we have takeoff. All right, let's call the horse. Is he still getting it rough at school? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He, uh, doesn't bring it up, doesn't want to talk about it, but I think he still has it pretty tough. I wish there's more I could do for him. He's a good kid. He deserves better. OK, we can nix the whores. Let's give Miles' mum a day off. Let's do something, though. Kiss my ass, Sparky. What about I'm afraid of this, I can't. I'm going to beat you like your father should have. Fucking Miles. That's Australia, mate. Your name should be Kilometres. That was funny when I heard it the first time. When I was six. <sighs> Try to come to that fucker, you know? Who? My biological father. Aussie fucking prick. No answer? Nah, after him and mum split. He hates Kiwis or some shit, thinks we're all fucked. Oh, I didn't know me and your pops had so much in common. Fucking kilometres. Look, you tell me the kids give them a hard time, I'll redefine a hard time for them. With what? Your jokes? Dude, the high school kids, man, I'll fuck them up. I don't know, man. These kids, they're monsters these days. Stomp you out real easy. Man, I'll kick the teeth at every last one of them. Punks. Henry speaking. Oh, I'll hey, Dan. Kill them. They ain't got shit. What? What? OK, stay there. I'm on my way. What's up? We may need to kick some teeth. Is that your brother there? Hey, Sam. You OK? You got your bike? And your bag? I saw some kids beating Dennis up. They ran that way. Who did it? Not sure. Just some punk kids. We just stopped to help. He used my phone to call you. He got your phone too. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Dennis. I hope you guys catch those assholes. Denny, listen. We'll go, get your stuff back, and smash whoever did this. Point them out, we'll fuck them up. You just go home. Hey, bud, don't you want to get your stuff back? I don't care. 
You shouldn't let them get away with this. Okay, we're here. We can solve this right now. You guys are all here now, but you're not always gonna be here. I hate this shit. This, this tough guy shit. It's fire with fire. It's all bullshit. I just wanna be left alone. You need to stand up for yourself. This is gonna keep happening to you. If you're scared, you should face your fear head on. And then beat it like an angst riddle stepchild. I just wanna go home. I've always hated that painting. Clowns are so disturbing. Oh, they freak me out. <laughs> Don't you like the circus? Don't even get me started on the animal cruelty at the circus. And let alone those crazy carnies running around dressed as clowns. No. The place is a nightmare. What if the clown was happy? <laughs> Doesn't matter. All clowns are shit. What? Don't they freak you out? Not at all. Clowns are funny. Some squirt you with water, some say hamburgers. <laughs> I'm more scared of real things like being helpless and alone, death, stuff like that. What about you, phone queen? Huh? Hey. Hey. What's up? Dan had a tough morning. Again? Yeah. This keeps happening to him. I know. I'm just trying to work out if it's the same kids or not. Where are you going? Kitchen, get a snack. Unless Rose wants to give up some of that ass. <laughs> Didn't think so. Here's some better friends, Julia. You know, I want any chips. I missed you. I missed you. Is he okay? I'm gonna talk to him. Okay. What happened? Well... Hey, Dan. Look, I, I know that sucked. You don't deserve to be treated like that. I'm sorry. Heck, like you beat me up and took my stuff. I just wish I was there for you sooner. What drove you to school? Well, on the bright side, you've uh, got the whole day off. Let's do something. What do you say? I just kind of want to stay here. I could take you bowling. We could go to the beach. Or what's, uh, what's that hero movie at the cinema you've been wanting to see? Dragon Fist, the fire-punching crime god. Dragon Fist the what? What, are they run out of superhero film names or something? It sounds childish and stupid. Then I grabbed him by his ear and picked him up off his two friends. I said, hey, man, Denny's cool, man. And I'm gonna fuck your sister. Come on, I'll take you. We'll make a whole day of it. I don't need pity to soothe the busted ego. You've got to want to do something. Let's make the most of today. You can play on the computer later. What's up? Trying to convince Denny here to get off the computer and come do something fun with us today. Let's do it. We should go fishing. Fishing? Come on, Denny, let's go. Go where? Whole house? Come on, let the kid pump out some rage. What? We're trying to cheer him up, not make him hate himself more. Dragonfist is playing the cinemas. Look, well, guys, I just want to stay here and read this post. All right, because at least on here I'm treated like a human. I mean, on here you have to properly be an idiot to get the kind of wrath that I get in the real world just for breathing. <sighs> Funny how I need a machine to gain basic human respect. Wrap your heads around that. What are you reading? Oh, it's this post about a creepy old house that everyone wants to know more about. What do you mean? Well, this article got posted up today about a creepy mystery house, and now everyone in the community wants to know more about it. So, 
Why are you typing? Do you know about this fucking house or something? No, I just said that I live near it and now everyone's asking me questions. Uh, what does it look like? Well, there's an old photo from back in the day, but that's it. No modern updates, just myth and legend. Well, how close? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That's not that far. It's a few hours drive in the country. Would you get some good instant karma if we went there and took some photos? Of course. If I actually delivered on this post, I'd basically be a hero on this forum. Well, let's do it. We can jump in the car and drive out there. Hell yeah, road trip. Really? Well, what about your assignment? Yeah, well, we can drive out there, you can shoot some photos. We'll be home tonight and I'll finish my assignment. It's too easy. Let's go on a road trip. Mm. Hey, do you know exactly where it is or we're gonna look for it? No, I can ask the OP for exact address and directions. Wait, what the fuck's an OP? Original poster. <laughs> can send him a message and ask for coordinates and directions from the house. Sounds good. Road trip it is. I'll tell the girls. I'll get changed. I'll roll a hundred joints. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, you sure you don't want to hit the whole house? Did you bring a jacket? Could get a little cold out there. Dad's lucky jacket. Of course. I have the perfect road trip vehicle. Will that even make it? This. It's a palace on wheels. It's the Yes We Can van. Carry 11 passengers. Yes We Can. Smoke weed in the school car park. Yes We Can. Sex with the checkout girl at the shops. Yes We Can. This is the van of possibilities, man. Possibly not get you laid. Yes It Can. Possibly not get you to your destination. Yes It Can. Be the sole reason for sadness, depression and suicide. Yes, it can. We'll see. <laughs> this van is kick-ass. See, I mean, your lady digs the van vibes. What do you think, Rose? We'll work on that. What? I know this guy. I used to train him at my gym. Hey, Danny! <laughs> You're up a bank. <laughs> We're hurry to get the early bus to the arena. Mom and my grandma live out there. We're headed out that way. Yeah, jump in with us. Well, where are you guys headed? Uh, Wisconsin. It's like 20 minutes from Marina. Oh, is there room? Yes, there is. Jump in, the road palace awaits, my man. Good luck. It's time for this ship to set sail. You mean this shit is set to fail? Looks like the place. 
<laughs> this is definitely the place. Fuck me, we should have went to the beach. No reception. You ever look around and think every single person you see, every single day, is one shot out of a penis? The one great race that matters. The old starting line of life in Bullsack Stadium. Personally, why I dislike competition, water slides, and eggs. How did we ever become friends? I'm deep and insightful. Shit like that. You can't be blamed for wanting to be around the charm I ooze out. Plus, I'm a great listener. You certainly do ooze, spark blood. But it smells more like shit than charm. Yep, deep and insightful. I've ever told you about bees? Bees, man, they're cool. You know they have a stinger, and when they use it, they die? You ever been stung by a bee? Yeah, of course. It means in order to defend itself from death, it must kill itself. Principle, huh? Rather than die in combat, it takes fate for a war, battles and dies on its own terms. They'd rather die hurting you, then you just kill it. It's all about control in the end. Bees are cool, man. And they make honey. Honey is awesome. You smoke too much weed. Dude, the bees, though. Yeah. Yeah, you make an odd point, but a valid one. I see what you're saying. I still think you spent too much of that green crack. Bees. Little brother's all he needs, man. Back to man. That was quick. Oh. Dan, did you get all the shots you need? Yeah, I shot like 50 photos of the place. Hey, Dean. Let's go, bro. You're not going inside? You should get photos inside, man. That would be delivering something special. Can we? I don't know. Nobody cares. I mean, we came all this way. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's go on. What about us? Come check it out. Come on.
Let's go. Whoa, this place is fucking dank. Like the place where hatred was born. Shit. Yeah, man. Get in here. Just uh, a little creepy. It's all good. It's creepy, but we're here. I'm here. You're safe, little bro. Come on. That's when you're the internet. scary movies to know the fuck out of this group dies first. It was me, sorry. No, I'll be the man. Sissy. What's his problem? Oh. At least it's cleaner than the band. <laughs> Flash soon, Dan. You about ready? Check this out. What is it? Weird shit. It's getting too hard to see in here. Come on. It'll only be a few more minutes. That's it. Nice. Slide enough. Good. This room doesn't match the rest of the house. I was 
man. Well, I've told you guys about bells. Break the glass. That won't help. Oh, what do you mean? What the fuck? This is way better than the beach, bro. I don't like this at all. What, so we're trapped again? No. Oh, my God. Listen, we can call out to Dean. He's outside. Dean! Yo, Dean! 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 Where's Rose? Nothing. One, two. I've got nothing. We must be in a dead zone. Pretty far from life. She reception out here. Can you please not use the words dead zone? Reception's fucked here. They can't even spell technology, let alone implement it. These walls are too thick. What do we do? I'm starting to freak out. I don't like being held captive in some weird dark house. It's okay. We're not held captive. The door's just stuck. That's it. Yeah, but the door slammed on its own. And now it won't open. And, Henry, who turned on the light? This place is creeping me out. The wind slammed the door. What wind? Like a gust from the front door. And the light? 
Maybe the door slamming crossed some wires in this old place. I just want to get out of this house. Hey. We will. Okay, the door's jammed and the curtains... It's just for decoration. They're fake. Why are they fake? Let's look around the room and see what we can find. Okay, maybe there's something we can use to get the hell out of here. into the wall. Wait, there's a switch. Ah. It's on. Now what? What is it? I don't know. still out there. Maybe they can get some help. Something to break open that door. Like what? There's gotta be something. 
something we can rig up to get her up. No! That has to be fake. Fake? Are you fucking kidding me? Roman's dead! We just watched her get murdered! It's okay. It's okay. I want to go home. I'm working on it. Stop being so elementary and dramatic. There's no chance that was real. It's an internet prank. Once that goes viral, you're all gonna look stupid. Not me. What? Hey, how about that lighter? Smoke some weed in here. Might chill some people out. This is a sword in the fucking stone. Oh, thank goodness. Shit. Even I was getting a little nervous. I bet Denny's got a little shit in his pants too, don't you, Den? Maybe a little. Let's go. Jules! 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 Julia!
dead of night, life disappears. Tonight you will be hunted by your greatest fears. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Let's find out how Julia feels inside. <laughs> Jules is out there. I need to get out of this room. It's all one bunch, bro. It's impossible. How did it open for Julia so easy? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. None of this fucking shit makes sense. We need to get the fuck out of this room. We need to figure this out. Let's start from the beginning. What happened? The door wouldn't budge for me. As soon as Julia tried it, it opened straight up. It's like it only works for certain people. What about the bell? Yeah. What about the bell? Maybe it has something to do with it. The bell was ringing periodically. But not since Julia was able to open the door and leave. Maybe the bell is a signal that the door on.
we playing fucking Clue? Guys, something's up. Julia's in the laundry. I think someone's stalking her. Oh, my God.
I need to get out there. What is that? No, 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 no. free I'm going to come back here and burn this fucking place to the ground I don't know what he's going to be capable of it's miles I know we fuck around but I trust him to get us out of here
safe. I was with my brother, and he told me to hide. Doors open. One of us can get out of here and get help. We need to see who goes next. I have a feeling it's gonna be me. Why? 
I don't know the fact I'm about to shit myself from puke at the same time. It makes me think it's me. Okay, this is our chance to get out. To get help. Whoever it is. You're gonna be the hero. Nervous. Oh. Okay, only puke left now. I think it's to be right. Run straight for the front door and don't stop. There's no one out there to save, but there are people in here. Let's all try and get to the front door. You, my boy? Dad? Jimmy, you're a sight for sore eyes. Come here. L let me hug you. I want to tell you how much I love you. Dad? I just want to hold you, son. I've missed you. Why isn't he leaving to get help? Come on, Spark, run. Run. Where's he going? Who's he talking to? Thank you so much. It's okay, my boy. I'm sorry, Dad. I wish we were closer. A bit of some way all of us. And yet, you weren't. You were a terrible son. <laughs> be taught when obedience is lacking. When you have a shitful disgrace of a son, he has to be influenced so as not to be a stain on society. You're an embarrassment. A good for nothing, let down. I'm sorry, Dad. I loathe you. I always have. I always said the highlight of your life should have been the day you landed on your mother's chest when I blew my load over that cheap two dollar haul. I'd love for you. Oh my god. Is that. Spark. <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. You always did try and run away from your problems, didn't you? You were never man enough to face the music. I just want you to know, when you look into my eyes, that I don't love you. I never loved you. You were my biggest regret, my biggest mistake. And now, I get to scrub out your miserable existence. To right a wrong, erase a mistake. Look into my eyes and see how easily I dispose of you, because you are nothing to me.
It's been hours since the bell has rang. Maybe it's all over. Henry. Do you ever think back on your life? When you were young? Of course. You ever think about those memories and get overwhelmed with sadness? Just sad because it's all so far away from where we are in this present moment. Like regret? No, not regret. Memories are mostly happy ones. And now they make you sad. Yeah. Like... Those memories are so far from the present, it bums me out. Maybe it's just part of growing up. Maybe... Life lived in the present is what's important. Back when the happy memories were the present, you were living in the moment. And you were able to be happy. If you focus on the now and not the past, you can focus on the present. Tomorrow becomes today when you're thinking about yesterday. I love the way your mind works. Yeah, well, in this circumstance, the present sucks. So I really don't know how this situation works. <laughs> you know, with the whole pending doom. There's no bending to him. You're safe with me. We just need a plan. It's okay. We need to get out of here. This is our chance. I'm not leaving this room. Something is killing us one by one, and unless we work together, one of us will be next. I'm staying here. If we all get out that door at the same time, we'll have a better shot at getting free. This thing is winning one-on-one, -on -one, but if we can all get out there, it's worth a shot. No! Julia, Miles, Sparky all left this room and are all dead. Why can't the plan be to stay in the room? Why don't we just not go out the door? We've been safe in here all night. And what, just sit here? Until we figure it out. No, we'll have a better chance of getting out of the house out there. Like Julia? Rose? Sparky? Miles? We'll have a better chance together. Whatever comes after us, I'll distract it, and you can take Dan and get out of this house. I'll get us out of here, I promise. Trust me. Okay. I trust you. Come on, Dan. Sparky has the keys to the van. 
Hey, let's just get out of this house. No! 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 My fault. It's all my fault. It's my fault we came here. Now everyone's dead. Hey, listen to me. It's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. Since Dad died, you have been so much more than just a brother to me. So much more. 
dad was my hero. He was my, my anchor in the storm. To me, there was no safer place in the world than in his arms. He could make any situation better. I miss his love, his intelligence, his heart. I miss him too. I felt like I had no value. No hope, no strength, no security. But you put aside everything to fill that void in my life. You became my anchor. I'll always miss Dad. But because of you, that, that emptiness that filled my life is gone. I love you. I love you too, Dan. Dan, listen to me. We both need to get through that door at the same time. Remember how we used to run down the hall at home? I remember. Okay, bud. Let's do it. Together. Together.
City. Ten. Ten. Hey, hey. Henry. What? Protect little brothers. You didn't help him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sad. Don't you want to help the brother? How about this? An eye for an eye? On second thoughts. I've already started this one.
I can help you get out of here. You can go and live your life. And you don't need that with me. So, you ready to go home? Look under the door. Your night is complete. They killed my brother. They, Henry? You. You killed them. I'd be wise with that bullet. But as I said before, I can help you get out of here. You can go home. Yeah, I'll just go home. Like no one I know died here tonight. No. There's one more death to happen yet. You might be correct, Henry. However, tonight wasn't about death so much as it was about fear. Fear was your enemy. We just facilitated it. Fear killed everybody. Not me. Fear. What about me, huh? I'm feeling pretty fearless right about now. Well, adrenaline, a gun. Yeah, I can believe that. But give it time. It's a slow burn. Life, you know? You killed my brother, Jesse, my friends. Not me. Where's my fear? Walk out the door, Henry. Go live your life. Let old age take you. But you want to know the real stinger? What you saw here tonight? Burned in. That's got a sting. <laughs> Either way you look at it, the house always wins. Bye-bye, Henry.
about control in the end.